Somebody asked me a question, how to reverse video in LumaFusion. So basically what I mean is, you know, you're watching the video, something happens, and then they stop it, rewind it, you know, plays it um, exactly backwards, and then you see it again. And so you see my wife and I, we're walking down the pier here in Flagler Beach on our way to go get some lunch. And... I'm using a GoPro Hero 8. This is 60 frames a second. So it's not the best video speed, but you're going to see a bird fly across the top of the screen right here. And I'll show you right here is where he enters. So we're going to go ahead and reverse that bird flying in. So he's going to fly in, out, and then back in again. So to do that, we're going to back the video up just a smidge until the bird comes into the timeline, which is right there. And we're going to make a cut. And then let's forward it to the point where he leaves the screen on the timeline. So right there. So you've got just a little bit of a section there that you've cut out, just over a second. So what you're going to do first is double tap that. And then here's the video clip that we have cut. So you see it's just really short. Go ahead and rewind that. And... On the bottom, it says frame and fit on the bottom left hand. Just next to that, looks like a speedometer. Uh, go ahead and touch that. And you see where it says speed, reverse, and main audio pitch, or maintain audio pitch. Um, this is where you can speed the video up, slow it down, or reverse the uh, direction in which it plays. So I'm going to go ahead and maintain the audio pitch on that, and then hit the reverse button. And typically it takes a little bit to make the video reverse in Luma Fusion um, because Luma has to rewrite the whole video uh, for that clip to cut out that one section that you want to reverse. So um, I used a 37 second video just so it would be really super duper quick for it to do. It still took a little bit um, and I'm showing you the video, you know, pieces of it doing it up on the top right hand corner right there. But now that it is all done, this is what it looks like. Okay, so here it is in the timeline again. But like that kind of looks kind of crazy. So to get the effect that you're looking for, you've already got your, your video selection right here is already lit up. So uh, hit the plus button in the box that's just right there. And double tap that. Switch the reverse on that again. And then what you're going to want to do is take that and put it right in front of the video you reversed. So you see him flying out and back in. And to give the cool effect of playing, rewinding, and then replaying, you've already got your box lit up right there. One more time, hit the plus button on that. Drag this over to the end of the reverse clip. And so, let me go ahead and hit the audio on that. And this is what you're gonna end up with. Okay, so you hear how the audio kind of skipped on that? What I would do in this situation, because it is really easy to hide uh, audio imperfections like that, I'm going to triple tap so I'm going to triple tap all of those sections right there. And then I'm going to go into transitions, which are right there. And so you've got the cross dissolve. So I'm going to basically lay a cross dissolve transition over each and every one of these cuts in the audio section. So to make that happen, you have to... Uh, you have to drop your audio down. So let's see how well that cleaned that up. See, it's almost unnoticeable. So anyways, well, listen, I hope this helps you all out. Please like the video, share, subscribe. You know, I've got links to the GoPro Hero 8 that I'm using in, using in this video. It is a very good quality camera. Um, so I've got that and I've got some other links that are in the description. So if you're interested in any of that, just to kind of help support the channel. And I'll see you in the very next video. Thank you. Show.